Hi everybody, it's time for some Road to the Show. It's been about a week since I posted my last update from my character's triple-A season. Here I am, this is against the Buffalo Bisons. Base is loaded, bottom of the ninth. Walk-off Grand Slam. Just barely stays fair off the foul pole and back onto the field. So that was the highlight from my final game with the Buffalo Bisons. I kind of edited out some of the other stuff because I ended up playing for 46 minutes today and I'm not going to make a 46 minute road to the show video. That's just entirely too long. So this one's against the Gwinnett Braves. There I am actually making a catch. My character's not known for his defensive prowess since I give most of his training points to power. So let's see how he does here against this triple weight pitcher in his first at bat, and he grounds out. I didn't get to play a whole lot of the show today. I called off work. I took a sick day. I had to get up at about 6 a.m., shuffle my driveway, and then I had to take my son into Pittsburgh for surgery and that's never fun here I am making a catch so anyway he had to have surgery to have his tonsils and adenoids removed and I guess it's pretty common I'd be interested to know how many of you have had it done I personally never had my tonsils and adenoids removed but my son they're kind of abnormally large they kind of getting his way when he's trying to sleep he has some sleep apnea going on so it was just best that he gets him taken out so only one parent was allowed in the room so my wife stayed with him um, and I took care of the girls today anyway that one looks like I'm gonna have a chance to rob it I'm gonna jump and that was terrible wow and I threw it to the wrong base Negative 30 training points, probably. Well, I guess I'm not going to get any training points and not lose any training points because I guess that was kind of an uncatchable ball. Kind of looked really goofy trying to make that catch. But hey, it happens. There's a can of corn right at me. I don't even have to move. And that's the final out of the inning. Anyway, after my son's surgery, which, by the way, it was a success... We went in and spent some time with him, and he was, I kind of felt bad for him. They gave him a lot of stuff, like they gave him a lot of toys that he could have, but he was in a really tiny room that he had to share with somebody else. That one is way gone up onto the berm, rolls up into the crowd there. For some reason, at Indianapolis at this stadium, the crowd is not allowed onto the berm, it looks like, which would be maddening if I was a fan out in Indianapolis but anyway yeah they, we visited and we were like crammed in this little tiny space the five of us for I guess we were there maybe I want to say like three hours tonight so I took a little bit of footage I didn't take a lot I just filmed a little bit of the room he had a nice little light going with a, a fountain and You'll see, I, I'm going to put a little clip at the end of the video, but I just kind of felt bad for him because it was like the bed, and that was basically it. There was a little tiny space for my wife to sit in, and I don't know. I just feel bad for him and my wife. They have to stay overnight at the hospital in that tiny space with some uh, noisy roommates on the other side of the curtain. So hopefully it goes quick for them. Anyway, this is a blowout of a game, 10 to 1. And that is, well, almost caught out there by the left fielder. He knocks it down, so the bases are loaded here. And that's the end of that game, it looks like. A blowout win. I am the MVP of that game. Get a little baseball card made of me. On to the next game, 6 2. This is the highlight from. The next game against the Gwinnett Braves, I'm just going to put my home run up there out onto the berm, which no one's allowed on in Indianapolis. And let's just take a look at some other home runs from the 46 minutes. There's a shot to almost the same spot the next day. 
This is a 6-5 game. Gwinnett was winning until that shot off the batter's eye. And then the next series was against the Toledo Mud Hens, and I guess this is the Toledo Field, Center City Field, supposedly it's called. It's not the actual field, it's just a generic field. And I'm kind of raking at this field. That one's out onto the street, over the bullpen, over the top sign. That'd kind of be cool to be walking by and just get a home run ball. If I was at that field, I'd probably be standing out there. This is the next day. There's another, almost the exact same home run. Let's see if it goes over the top sign. A little bit to the right, out onto the field. You can see how it bounced up. Anytime a ball bounces up that high, it's definitely hit concrete. So I'm assuming there's a street out there. And that's almost the exact same home run again. Let's see where it goes. Yep, out over the top sign. Bouncing off the parking lot or street out there. This has been a really good series for me. I got two home runs already this game. That is foul. Let's try to make it three here. That's way gone. It's like the same exact home run over and over again. Right over the foul pole. That's a fair ball. That's three home runs, four RBIs. It's a 6-4 game, so good thing I have those three home runs. Let's try to make it four. Trying to make professional history and hit four home runs and tie a, a list of people that have done it. And a pop out there, out to right center field. Let's see if I get one more at bat. Yes, bases loaded, no less. All right, let's hit the fourth home run of the game in Grand Slam style. Let's see here. That's that's gonna be close. It's high. It's far. It's a wall scraper right over the fence. Four home runs. I mean, in Triple A, if that happened, probably nobody would really care that much. It's still pretty cool that it hit four home runs in a game. It's a blowout win, 13 to four. I had eight RBIs, so I kind of feel like I should be getting a call up fairly soon. Um, here's the next series playing against who is this? Louisville. The Louisville Bats, maybe. I think that's the team in, in Louisville, the minor league team. There's another home run out onto the berm that nobody's allowed on. Kind of weird, but. They probably do that because it's too hard to animate with people just sitting on blankets and, and stuff. Another home run, same spot. And you can see there, that was really quick, but I'm up to 20 home runs. Make that 21. So that takes my grand total this season to 93 in double A and triple A. This is a blowout of game, 10 to 2. There's number 22. I'm going to give it a run anyway in case it's off the wall. Just barely made it over. Tried for my third home run of this game. Probably won't have a chance for another at-bat after this since it's the seventh inning. Bottom of the seventh. There's only going to be one more, at, one more ups for my team, basically, since we have such a big lead. That's the third home run. So what is that, 23 home runs this season in the Triple A? I've only been in Triple A a short amount of time. But anyway, here's the video that I promised you from tonight. This is in the hospital. This is a nice little light. It probably looks awesome with all the lights out. I'm sure he'll love looking at this when he's asleep. Huh? Are you ready to bath? He's eating some ice cream because when you have your tonsils and adenoids out, Basically, you eat nothing but ice cream for the first week. And my daughter, Elsa, is over there on the bed playing with some toys. And there's Olivia just wanting to be herself and rough house around. She got some earmuffs in the bag that they gave us. So he's supposed to be home tomorrow. Everything went well. Thanks for watching, everybody.